Hey guys, it's only me. Um, nearly two weeks ago, my favourite chicken died. And I understand this will sound crazy to most people, but I wept like a child for three days. Anyway, she's gone home to God now. Um, I'm going to have a look at some knives. This is a custom knife that I bought many, many years ago, long, long years ago. Uh, I don't know who made it. There's no markings on it. don't know what sort of steel it is. Uh, again, there's nothing to indicate that. It's a nice chisel grind. Um, it's well made and it's razor sharp. Uh, pretty sure if, uh, if my memory serves me well that I bought this at an arms fair here in Melbourne but I could be wrong uh, nice kydex sheath uh, I don't know if the tech lock came with it or not or I put that on there um, so that's out of the way many years ago I was or not many years five years ago I was a licensed handgun owner and this is one of the cases that I kept my magazines in but I sold all my guns because um, you have to do 10 shoots a year uh, six six um, comps and four practices or at the end of the year your guns get confiscated uh, by the police and I didn't want that to happen so I sold them before um, yeah just couldn't keep up with the shoot but anyway um, so the first one is this cold steel black talon with some real weird serrations very small um, serrations uh, obviously a deadly sort of a blade but to be honest with you I don't know why I bought this knife uh, it's too weird for words uh, it does have the Emerson type opening disc thingy here so you can open it as it comes out of your pocket it's got really nice grippy G10 handle scales and like all cold steel knives um, well it's razor sharp and it's very well made um, yeah and I've had it for a long long time and obviously I've never used it the second one is the Talwa cold steel Talwa again a nice looking blade uh, unusual blade shape this is not double edged it's just a sort of a swedge or whatever they call that um, again exactly the same really grippy almost sandpaper like uh, G10 scales and it's a nice knife a decent size in the hand it's not extra large but it's not small either and that one there another cold steel this is the AK-47 uh, nice green G10 with a black blade doesn't say what type of steel it's got here I don't think but I'm pretty sure this would be OS8 because these are older cold steel ones they've moved on to some other steel now but I uh, said so these would have been bought at least I would think eight to ten years ago maybe more um, so that's a nice one too and then the last one I have is a Spyderco and this is a beautiful knife it really is um, I can't even remember it may have even been 15 years ago I bought this one look at the um, look at the serrations on this one you need to be real careful when you're handling this blade because it will just slice um, serrations are unbelievable in that way almost impossible to sharpen at least for someone like me but um, yeah deadly sharp and it's got this really weird sort of ball spring detent locking system which is a little bit awkward to deploy 
but that's okay. It's got a nice swell there for the palm. Uh, feels good in the hand. And it's a nice little knife. Again, I've never had any reason to use this knife. Um, serrations are always good for hacking away at really thick rope um, or anything for that matter, but certainly real thick rope. Uh, it slices through them like butter. So yeah, just a quick one. And black talon again. Uh, that's it for today. Um, I love you guys and take care. Bye-bye.